Hello from Automate 2019. We are here with Les Graham. Les is leaving the industry after 34 amazing years of being a Superman here at Epson Robots. Yeah, so we're interested in getting a little bit of wisdom from you before you before you go on to greener pastures. Les, would you share some of your insights with us? So, as Lisa said, uh, 34 years with Epson, and uh, this is the final show, trade show for me. And this is kind of uh, a bittersweet moment. I'm, I'm very happy to be retiring and moving on to other things and doing other things. But I've never felt like Epson was a job for me. I've never felt that way. And it's because of the people. I've had 34 years of meeting very good people. Uh, they work hard. No one has a, that's not my job attitude. And, and I think that's what's made Epson a great place to work. You know, you mentioned that I've been there 34 years, but there are other people who have also been there in this group 30 years, 28 years, 27 years. We've got a, a lot of great people. And, and I wanted to take this moment to express my gratitude. They're my family. I have two families. The family that I was born into and married into, and then I have my Epson family. And this is a thank you to those folks. So you asked for an insight. Yes, please share. So retiring is not an easy decision. But I remember a little more than a year and a half ago now, we had a buffet at the office where people brought in food. And I'm sitting there with one of the employees who's also been there quite a long time. And we're looking around the room and we, we've had a lot of new people come into the organization. And you look around the room at all of these new people and they're very good at what they do. They're very good at what they do. And I said to myself, you know, now would be a good time. Let these new people who are good at what they do, let them take it to the next level. And it was almost that time secretly that I made the decision. I need to start putting a plan in place. And it's because of the, the work ethics, uh, the personalities, uh, the culture at Epson, that um, it makes it so that it's, it's easy to retire, but it's, it's bitter to leave that family behind. So just so that you know, you're gonna be stuck with me because I'm gonna show up when you're not expecting me to be there. Aw, <laughs> very sweet. So I, I just wanna say, we have people who have just joined the organization. We have people, like I said, who have been there almost as long as I've been there and from the youngest in the organization to the oldest in the organization, Michael Ferrara being the oldest in the organization. The culture is the same, and it's the culture that's made us very good, and you look around the booth and see we've got a, a lot of good products, and we have grown tremendously, but it's because we all care. And I've had a great deal of success at Epson over the last 34 years, but I didn't do it alone. If I were to call someone in the technical group, in the, the support group, in the operations group, in the marketing group, and say, hey, I need something, there was never a question of why do you need it? It was how soon do you need it? And because of those things, I've had a great deal of success. Aww. Aww. Les, I share your feelings about this industry. It is absolutely amazing for our viewers. Get more information on yeah, the technology that the amazing people in this industry create at designworldonline.com. And Les, I really thank you for your service and I really feel fortunate to have met you and uh, we wish you all the best. And I feel the same. You're one of those people I've met along the way over the years and I've uh, gotten to know, and I truly appreciate all that you do. Well, thank you. Thank you.